Right, guys, we gotta quickly call out the BBC for going back to his race whopping or blackwashing of history, with this one being the bubonic plague of 1348 to 1350. Pandemic. Yep, even historic pandemics are not safe from blackwashing these days, because here we've got them and The Guardian promoting some dog shit study claiming black women were most affected by the Black Death in the 14th century, and no, that's not why they named it that. In fact, I'm actually shocked that with this tribe they didn't call that name racist or maybe they're saving that for a later study. Now this is actually a subject I know a lot about because I love medieval history or any history really and I also know for a fact that the black population of England let alone London was so insignificant you couldn't even give it a percentage. So to sit there and say that black women out of that already small group were more at risk than anyone else is just bloody laughable. This is even more laughable when you remember the fact that rich and poor alike caught and died from the plague because medicine at the time involved rubbing lumps of human shit into an open wound or bloodletting which will never help will it not a great plan oh and this entire claim is based on 145 skeletons they must say are from 14th century black people but given the last time research pushed by the bbc claimed a skeleton was black and turned out it wasn't i wouldn't trust any claim they make now would you Plus, the plague apparently spread across the entire European and Asian continents, so literally killed people of all races and religions that makes black people being the most affected obviously pure bloody horseshit. Also, during the plague, fear and suspicion were rife with literally all foreigners being accused of bringing it into the UK and some were even killed for it. Shit, the Pope put out a papal ball to stop Catholics killing Jews that they had accused of spreading it. This means that even if these bodies are from 145 black people, they could have easily died for other reasons and not from the actual plague. Shit, getting lynched by an angry mob in them days was a real possibility regardless of race after all, was it not? Of course, this is all just bollocks to start with as the entire article is talking bollocks about some bollocks study. I mean, to think the ruling class or a peasant as any better than a black person back then is either top tier stupid or just pure ignorant. We all lived under serfdom in them days, which in this day and age would just be called bloody slavery. The plague actually helped peasants live better after it because it wiped out so many people they could charge more for their labour. That's what actually led to the peasants' revolt alongside the one years war and a few other things. Obviously though the need for black people to be the ultimate victim really is contagious with academics these days. Why is still baffling to me but this tripe is about as credible as this prick is at giving out medical advice. Pan the pan the pan the Pandemic. We're off.